Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Empress Aries 88. My name is Tanya. All right, I'm burning the sage, baby, because this is a special, special day. This is Mother's Day, baby. So I am calling in my intentions and I'm asking you to do the same. Please protect this space, please protect my energy, protect me and help my beautiful collective. Set your intentions. This is Mama's Day, baby. This is special. All right. Thank you, Spirit, for all of your guidance, your healing, and your hope. All right. So this is a special day. Mama's Day. Happy Mother's Day to all of you mothers out there. You know, we play an important role in our families, and it's super important for us to have this special day. But 365 days of the year, we are fabulous, right? Absolutely. But I want to do a special reading for mommies out there. I want to channel the energy for Mama. I want to say thank you to my mother who's in the heavens for making me the human being that I am, this human uh, with this life experience, trying to help other people. I think that I got that from my mother. So I'm hoping to pass that to my daughter as well, who has the gift as well. So thank you for everyone out there who's liked and subscribed. It means the world to me. And I really love doing this and i'm so appreciative that you love watching it so thank you so much for all of you out there who have done that and if you haven't please like and subscribe and join my tribe because i'd love to have you so with that said let's get to this reading spirit guides and angels of your whitest light please give me a clear message for the collective one that brings healing hope and understanding of their situation Please protect me as I open myself up to channel these messages and please protect my beautiful collective. Thank you, Spirit, for all of your guidance and your love. Amen. All right, so we got quite a few decks to get through, so let's see what we can get to. And hopefully you're having a wonderful morning, afternoon, or evening, whatever time you press that play button. I believe that Spirit was motivating you to do so, and I'm so appreciative of that channeled messages channel messages are energy right energy does not have a gender but if i do say he or she please excuse and forgives because it certainly isn't meant to insult anybody or exclude anybody flip the rules as you see fit i could be saying you and meaning your person could be saying your person and meaning you take what resonates and leave the rest and if the shoe don't fit you must acquit check your placement you could have more than one astrological sign in your chart all right so let's see what we got here All right, Spirit, one card, please, for the overall energy of this reading. Thank you, Spirit. And we got two. Two for the price of one. Surrender your battles. The angels are asking you... I can't even read this. So let me get my glasses on. Let me see. The angels are asking you to hold your peace and surrender the battle to them. So maybe somebody has been battling inner demons but spirits holding your hand and spirits saying I'm with you so surrender the timeline is what I'm hearing maybe somebody expected to a, a certain outcome to already happen and spirits like surrender the expectation surrender the outcome I got this I got this and discernment follow your intuition and maybe your intuition wasn't 100 percent i'm hearing maybe love blinded you to a situation that's what i'm hearing and now your intuition separated from this person is like into overdrive but at the time it was blocked maybe because the emotions of being with this person blinded you to their flaws is what i'm hearing yeah that's what i'm hearing all right let's get into my rabbit hole and let's see what we can find out as far as what this is going on with these battles about spirit thank you respect and it's not just for people respect starts with you and i have a feeling that maybe you didn't respect yourself enough 
and you allowed people or this particular person to disrespect you. Yeah. Competition. You might have been in competition with other people. And you might have been giving it your all to win the game and now you're like looking back and realizing was it really worth it and maybe feeling a little not guilty but ashamed is what I'm hearing that you even did that that you allowed yourself to be in that situation fire sign Aries Leo Sag so this could be the fire signs this could be a fire sign you could have fire in your chart or this person replaying our conversations this person could be replaying the conversations that they had with you or you could be replaying the conversations like I said take what resonates and leave the rest glow up so something happened where you got a glow up a transformation and a lot of it has to do with your own mindset and how you feel about yourself like I said this respect Maybe you're starting to respect yourself because you're no longer begging for somebody's time and attention. It's like you don't need it like you used to. Time to heal and that's what happened. You needed to walk away from this person in order for you to see the forest for the trees is what I'm hearing. For a long time you forgot Not that you forgot yourself, but you lost yourself. You at one time knew what you wanted. And then you met this person and you like almost gave all that up. All of your plans is what I'm hearing for this person. Maybe you were supposed to go to school or you wanted to move or you wanted a certain job and you allowed those things to go by the wayside for this person you kind of it was like their dreams you picked up and their dreams you supported instead of supporting yourself is what I'm hearing from spirit like they wanted to change jobs or move to a different city and you followed this person and followed you know they chased their dreams and you were their biggest cheerleader and yet you forgot about what you wanted in life and what you had for goals and dreams and aspirations is what I'm getting thank you spirit reconciliations so this person wants to reconcile with you they weren't very nice to you though they put you in competition they made you feel second best they made you feel second fiddle like you weren't good enough like you had to prove something to them is what I'm hearing. Constant craving. So this person is constantly craving you. It was a toxic connection though. It was a codependent situation. They wanted you to be codependent on them. And then they made you feel guilty that you were doing that. It was almost like you were begging for the crumbs of this person. And they wanted that from you. There's haters here as well. So this competition. There could be haters here. That aren't liking the fact that your person really does love you even though they treated you disrespectfully even though they made you fight for them put you in competition they realized and they knew that you were the one that they wanted to be with they just wanted you to know they had other options and even though it wasn't true it was an illusion because really even if they did have all these people lined up all they wanted was you they wanted you to feel like well you know, if you don't toe the line, I do have other people, you know. And then you fought that much harder for them. And that's what you're kind of fed there. Almost, when you think about it, narcissistic kind of um, energy that they were projecting out there. But now that you're gone away from this person and you can see kind of, kind of like... You can breathe, is what I'm hearing, because you no longer have them suffocating you, in a sense. Now you want a certain thing in life. You want, you have goals, you have aspirations, you have dreams now. And they are sitting back watching you live your best life. And they're wishing that they would have treated you better, is what I'm hearing. Thank you, Spirit. 
All right. Okay, what do we got here? Yeah, boundaries. Exactly. That's exactly what they needed. They needed boundaries. You needed to put out boundaries from this person so that they knew how to come at you. I mean, how does a person know how to treat you if you don't tell them? If you don't show them? Sometimes people need that guidance. We don't come with instructions. So if we want to be treated a certain way, we have to show people what that way is, what we accept and what we will not accept. You needed to learn that. Thank you, spirit. Maybe you constantly did crave this person though. I think you were really codependent on them. And at one time it was more than they felt about you, but now the, uh, the, the roles have changed. This person's craving you. They want a reconciliation with you because they've seen that you've changed. They like the change. It scares them in a, in a sense because now they know they can't come at you in the same way they did before, but they really do replay your conversations and they realize that you were the one. Spare any more cards from this deck. Spirit. No? All right. Spirit, I'm not gonna take that. I know I asked for it, but then you're giving me the whole deck. Come on now, Spirit. I don't want it all, maybe. Thank you. Introspection. Okay. What does that mean, introspection? Basically, introspection is going inward. Intro. So into yourself. And you needed to do that. But you needed to separate yourself from this person in order for you to understand what was happening there. Because I think, like I said before, you lost yourself for a long time in the hopes, the aspirations, the dreams, whatever this person wanted, you provided for them, you were their cheerleader. And yet they weren't cheering for you. It was like there was no equal reciprocity here. It was you doing it all in that sense, in that sense of like you giving everything you had and this person taking everything you had, but not giving you back anything in kind. And that's what I'm hearing. So you had to go inside and you had to heal from that because it was really hurtful to you, this person, what they did to you. And it took a long time for you to get over that, move on from that. Yeah. And that's what I'm hearing. That's what I'm hearing. So let's go into the tarot a little bit and understand a little bit more about what happened here. Spirit, give me some more information on this, these boundaries that the person viewing had to get into, had to put up in order to heal from this person, had to put up so that this person could no longer just access their energy whenever they felt like it. Like almost like an energy vampire this person was drawing off of you for a long time. You have a really beautiful healing energy and this person was like siphoning the life out of you is what I'm hearing. Siphoning the life out of you. Spirit, come through. Give me some more information, please, Spirit. What about these boundaries? Thank you. King of Swords. This could be a King of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This person is very disciplined. This person is a leader. This person is head over heart. So it was they didn't come at you emotionally. They came at you in a different way. It was not like all sexual, like maybe the King of Wands would or all emotional like the King of Cups would, it was more like, I don't know, like not a reality check, but kind of like, I, I can't even describe it. it. It's kind of, this person's a very reliable person, very steady person, but they're very like realistic, very sometimes unemotional person. They don't have, they don't put their heart on their sleeve and they can be guarded. So they hide their emotions. They could be ego driven too. Yeah. And they don't want to show any, their hand to you or they don't want to show any mushiness to you because maybe it would make them look weak. That's kind of how I'm hearing that. And you needed a little bit, you needed a person that was more emotional. Five of Cups, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. Yeah, you had to move on. It, there was a bereavement time. It was a real, it was a loss too. And you really had to mourn this person is what I'm hearing. Yeah. What I have is Ten of Pentacles, but in the reverse, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. 
Yeah, and this person has a lot of misfortune in their life. It, they're with other people. There's a lot of arguments and friction. Yeah, they're not living large as maybe they projected out there. They could live without you. They could find another you in a minute. Yeah, well, that's not exactly accurate. <laughs> they couldn't find another you. They might have found another person. They might have found another karmic person, but that doesn't mean it was you. And maybe this person that they put in competition with you as well, you know, a couple of options there. This person tried to copy you, tried to act like you, but they're never gonna be you. You're the original, you know? Don't get twisted. You're the original. Hi, my little angel. Oh, my little kitty, oh, so pretty. Yes, you are, you're such a pretty little kitty. Do you wanna say hi to everybody? Come say hi, my pretty kitty. Look at my little Kito. Kito Mojito. She's purring. She's purring. <laughs> She's purring for her mama on mommy's day. Yeah, she is. She's a pretty little kitty. I love you so much. Go ahead and lay down. Yeah, you're such a good baby. You're such a good little Kito. All right, so yeah, I think it was a real disappointment for you and your person because for you, this was everything you had, you put out there. And instead of getting that, I don't know, ultimate happiness, you got the pie in the sky, you got this dream that just came crashing down on you and I think it left you devastated really like the person died in your eyes like it was like a death that's how you felt and you had to pick yourself up mourn the loss go through the stages of loss you were angry at one time with this person you started out sad then you became angry it took a long time to resolve yourself that you had to keep, you had to dust yourself off and move forward. It wasn't an easy loss. And this person thought they could get over you, but now they're sitting there and sleepless nights and just dissatisfied with everybody they're with. Unhappy and resentful. And a little angry at you as well because you walked away from them. Maybe they never had a person like you that did that before. Yep, girl with a snake. There was a person here that charmed your person. Used them. Used them and, and it is using them if they're still in a connection with them, yeah. Wedding ring, they could be committed to a person. They could have made a promise to be with this person so your person could be married to this, this individual. Yeah. And it broke you down because you believe that you were going to get the ring. You were going to be the one that they married. <laughs> but there is somebody that's coming towards you to date you. That wants to date you. That wants to make plans and hang out with you. Yeah. Dragonfly. There's change. There's healing. There's transformation. Somebody's watching you. The sunglasses is here. The phoenix. Baby, the phoenix is rising. Yeah. Out of the ashes, man. You came out from the ashes of mourning. Because if you've ever heard of um, in traditional mourning, like years ago in history, mourning, they would be sitting in the ashes, uh, literal ashes, and they would be mourning whatever the death of somebody, the loss of something. And out of those ashes, you have transformed and you have become this powerhouse, this person who won't take no crap from anybody anymore. Good for you. The snake is here competition but there isn't any competition clearly there's no competition and they knew it all along they just wanted to play that game passion you know this person has an awful lot of passion for you they think about you all the time mm -hmm. yep they think about you all the time they see you in their dreams they're dreaming about you they're they're spying on you they're watching you like a hawk in the sky oh, yeah maybe yeah. and they're wanting their opportunity with you but you have put up strong boundaries. Maybe they've tried to contact you 
like through messenger, text messaging, phone calls, and you're just like, no, I'm not playing this game with you anymore, and I don't blame you. I don't blame you. It's like in your mind, they burnt their bridge with you, and it's like you don't know whether or not there's anything left that you have in you for this person. Maybe you don't feel the same. Maybe because of everything they did, you're like done. And that's, that's cool too, because we all have free will, right? But this person has never stopped thinking about you. What does it say here? It says here, take action. You're in touch with your truth in this situation and you need to trust your gut and lovingly assert yourself. There you go. You were very open with this person. Giving is what I'm hearing. And now you have boundaries up. You're not going to just fall for their charm anymore is what I'm hearing. And this, to make your decision, ask yourself, which way brings me closer to my divine purpose? Which way takes me away from it? So that's a decision that you have to make. You have to make that choice. Do you want to go back to this person? If you feel they changed, whatever the case may be, it's your decision. Or do you want to move forward into the unknown as to what could be these are the choices that we have in front of us and only you can make that choice nobody can make it for you this is just a reading here energy can change you can change your mind this person can change their minds but this is what's out there today right now on mommy's day and that's all that I have for you today no I don't I'm lying I think I have no I don't this is all I have for you I think I read everything that I have to read <laughs> let me make sure just so I know I didn't I didn't exhaust I exhausted every option here yes I did all right this is all I have for you today on Empress Aries 88 on this mommy's day happy mother's day <laughs> to all you mommies out there we know what we bring to the party it is a lot of hard work blood sweat and tears to bring children into the world and to raise them. Whether they're biological, adopted, it's all the same thing. It's a very tough job and I applaud each and every mommy out there for all the hard work and effort that you put in every single day. I appreciate you, Spirit appreciates you. Never forget that. And um, whether your children say it or not, they appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, please like and subscribe and join my tribe. I would love to have you. Until next time, be safe out there, my friends. Be blessed.